Hi, my name is Jared. This is my wife, Michelle. And we'll be coming to Hope Chapel for about two years. I was born and raised in Kaneohe. I'm an 86 graduate of Castle High School. I moved to Maui in 93. And I met my beautiful wife, Michelle, in 99. After struggling with drug addiction, incarceration, and not having custody of my three children, I literally ended up on his doorstep. And that's how I met him. After meeting Jared, I realized that that wasn't the life I wanted to live. And I don't know what it was at the time, but when I look back on it, I know it was, it was God. He started his work on me. And, but it was at that moment that I had hit my knees and I literally asked God to help me with the addiction and help me to keep this man in my life because through all of that, he stood by me. Not having gone through anything like this before, he never gave up on me. I became a substance abuse counselor uh, working for a couple of treatment centers on Maui and I felt that that was God's calling for me up until the closure of Hinamalka on Maui. We've been going to a church in Maui called um, Life Builders and we also got married by that pastor. And next thing you know, God showed me visions of coming back home to Kaneohe. I could be just driving down the highway or walking the dog. And all of a sudden, I'm daydreaming about my old high school friends, childhood friends, coming to church and sharing with the Lord, you know. And I wonder, what are these visions? I don't want to go back to Kaneohe. I love it here in Maui. This is my home. But I felt God was telling me you need to go back home. There's something more to life than just Maui. It was hard for me in the beginning because I'm a Maui girl. I was born and raised there. I was born in the country and I'm very close with my parents. But when we got here, I cried. I stayed in my room for a month, two months and just cried. She missing homesick. Yeah. I felt the Lord touch me and say, you know, it was time to get off that pity pot and start doing something with my life and start getting out there because the enemy was attacking me. I mean, it was really attacking our home, but... Yeah, God has blessed us with an awesome mini church with awesome people. We go to Al Kalama's mini church and they're just wonderful people. We love uh, Uncle Al and Auntie Colleen. For what I felt I was missing as far as my family, my parents, the mini church not replaced it, but it gave me a sense of belonging. It gave our family a sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. Through all of that, what has really happened to us is we've come full circle as a family. Jared would always be working, that was, that was him, and I would always be taking care of the kids. That was our life, but since we've been here, we haven't done anything separately when it came to functions outside of the home. We always do it as a family, and I believe that that was our biggest blessing, and that is what we needed to do, was to realize that it was all about family. It is all about family. God has given us many blessings in life, but these are the two greatest blessings of all, blessings of great joy. And we have one more on the way. Yeah.